Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Pulaski with the Outdoor Conquest. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on a planer board. Uh, we use planer boards for trolling for fish. That could be trolling for salmon, walleye, trout, you know, re really any types of fish. You can catch uh, pike and muskie, even bass trolling. But what we're reviewing today is the Cabela's, the Cabela's Advanced Anglers planer board with the tattle flag if you're new to my channel not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below i greatly appreciate it while i'm filming this uh intro right now i'm actually at 250 subscribers which is awesome um if you guys could help me hit my goal to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year i'd greatly appreciate it can't thank you guys enough and uh thanks for watching okay so if you purchase these i grabbed a few from cabela's they were on sale they're gonna come in the package just like this. They do come equipped with the tattle flag. And if you don't know what the tattle flag is, it's basically this. This pincher here is what you hook your lure to, your line when you're trolling it. And if a fish grabs it, it's gonna pull that flag down and let you know that you're dragging a fish back there. Now sometimes if you get a big fish, it'll pull the whole board right back. But uh, if you're trolling for walleye, sometimes you're catching smaller ones. And uh, this tattle flag is really imperative. Now, out of the box, the uh, planer board comes fully equipped, ready to go with the tattle flag. There's no assembly required whatsoever. Um, you can see here, you got your spring that attaches to the tattle flag. You've got different settings here. Different settings for different tensions of your flag. Depending on the species of fish you're targeting, you can adjust this. You can adjust the spring. Also, it comes with uh, another spring. It comes with a lighter spring and a heavier tension spring. I'm currently running the lighter spring um, for purposes of the review. And I run the lighter spring anyways when I'm walleye fishing. But uh, at first glance, the board looks well put together. It does come with a lead weight to help it sit down in the water, which is adjustable. It also has a styrofoam uh, piece behind this plastic which helps with its buoyancy helps it stay afloat now the pinchers are clamp style so you you basically put your line in there clamp it down and that's to release it same thing with the reverse the back side here you thread your line in there and then you go ahead and clamp it down and then you're good and that prevents you from losing your planer board them clamp style um it also, your front pincher folds down for storage in the bin, which I really like. You know, that, that stores really nice when it's like that in your side bins or in the floor bins, wherever you store your uh, gear. Now, I've always fished with Offshore Tackle brand planer boards. I really like Offshore Tackle. I'm from Michigan, uh, actually pretty close to where them guys are located, and uh, I really like Offshore. But I bought these because these are a little more um, budget friendly and you don't have to do anything i mean if you want to fish with a tattle flag it comes with it ready to go i believe these were under 30 bucks a piece fully equipped no assembly required and uh ready to fish so i'm gonna hook up we're gonna try them out we're gonna troll i'm gonna run a couple crankbaits first one i'm gonna put out just this nice red hot color and uh i'm gonna send them out for you guys show you how they run i've already ran these a few times and i'm really impressed with them uh, I fished them in rough water. I fished them in calm water. They really held up well in the rough water. I was really impressed. But I'm going to be running these all year and see how they hold up at the end of the year. And maybe I'll do a, a postseason review to, just to check the wear and tear on them and see how well they held up. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get these lures in. And I'll show you the setup I'm using and how I'm, how I'm doing it. I know there's people interested out there. And I haven't seen a video yet on reviewing these Cabela's boards, so I wanted to do it. I wanted to get it out there. But what I do is simply, I reset my line counter to zero, and I'll send my lure back, this crankbait, I'll send it back 50 foot. Okay, we're at 50 foot. Now, I take an offshore tackle guppy weight. It's got this OR16 clip, which you can see in there, it's got a nipple on it. And I get my line behind that nipple so I don't lose the weight. That's the whole purpose of this style clip. That's a that's an OR16 clip by Offshore Tackle. Now you hook the guppy weight on, get it below that nipple, 
and now you go ahead and go back reset your line counter if you want i like to and then i send it back another 50 foot okay we're at 50 feet now you're going to go ahead and hook your board up and this is really simple i always put the line in this front one first clamp it down just like that then you go ahead and take your line that's going back to the lure what you're going to want to do is when you go to the back pincher give yourself a little bit of slack so i like to hook hook it like that and then clamp it down and that gives you a little bit of slack in between both pinchers so when a fish grabs that sucker you know you got a little slack there and there's no doubt that it's a fish on there so always put a little slack between your pinchers now what i like to do i do fish by myself a lot i like to set the drag good and loose put the clicker on i put the clicker on and that'll allow that to take itself out to the side of the boat while I'm getting my other lure and my other setup ready to go. So we'll switch to the other side of the boat while that one's going out. So now I'm running over here. I've got a chartreuse and white crankbait floater. I'm gonna go ahead and send this one back, same routine. Okay, so there it is outside the boat. Like I said, I uh, adjust my clicker. Now the lake is really calm right now, but I adjust my drag on the clicker right here and that'll allow it to pull it back as fast as you want. But that keeps you freed up so you can start working on the other side of the boat, uh, get another board out or a long line, whatever you're doing as far as your setup. You know, if you're in Michigan and you're fishing by yourself, you only fish three rods, so. But there it is. And I mean, that baby pulls through real nice. Like I said, I have yet to have an issue with these. I've fished a few trips already with them. And uh, so far I'm impressed. So these are the Cabela's Advanced Angler uh, Trolling Planer Boards. Okay, so that was a uh, planer board set up, you know, setting it out. So I'm gonna bring it in here quick and just show you guys how easy it really is to uh, take it off by yourself as well. So I always bring the board until it's about two feet away from the rod tip. Always take that one off first. Take this one off first. Hold tension here because if you got a fish on, number one, worst thing you can do is give them slack. And then I slowly let it go back up like that. Okay, now I'm bringing up the snap weight. Remember, I put a snap weight on after 50 feet of sending my lure out. So we got the snap weight, same thing. Two, three foot from the rod tip. Pull the rod tip to you. Pop that baby off just like that. Now if you have a fish on, you're strictly on the fish. We don't have a fish on, we're just pulling the crankbait for purposes of the review. Um, but it is it is fairly easy to lose a fish when you're doing it by yourself as well. So it's one thing you gotta keep in mind. One thing you gotta keep in mind is do not let that line, do not let that line get slack. Anytime you give that fish slack, it gives them an opportunity to head shake and spit that lure right out. But as long as you got tension on there and that hook is setting his jaw, he ain't going nowhere. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the Cabela's Advanced Angler Trolling Planer Board. I'm pretty impressed with these things so far. You know, for the price point, I'm just curious to see how well they hold up. Because I do fish some extreme conditions from time to time. And boards can take a pounding. It doesn't matter what brand of board you got. They're gonna take a pounding. So I'm curious to see how well these babies hold up for me, because I do a lot of trolling style fishing. Well, that's gonna be the review on the planer boards. I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of the Outdoor Conquest. We'll see you on the next one. Stick around. Talk to you soon.